Hi, this is a brief introduction to the battery system on the Shearwater Petrol Technical Dive Computer. Uh, one of the nicest new features we've added to the Petrol is the uh, ability to use almost any type of AA battery. For example, you can use uh, your common alkaline battery available anywhere. You can use the Saft Lithium. These are non-rechargeable that the Predator used, great energy density. Uh, you can use rechargeable lithium ions. You can use rechargeable nickel metal hydrides. Um, you can use photolithium batteries. You can use zinc carbon batteries. Basically any type of AA battery. Now that adds a little bit of complexity because the system needs to know what type of battery uh, you've got in there. So the fuel gauge icon here is going to be dependent upon what type of battery you got in there. So the petrol needs to know. So I'm going to scroll to the screen here that shows the battery type. It, right now it's telling me that a 3.7 volt lithium ion rechargeable battery, the voltage is 3.98 volts. Uh, these when fully charged are about 4.2 volts. And so I'm at about 70 or 80 percent of the of the remaining capacity. Uh, this battery icon here is a is a fuel gauge uh, for battery types that that can support that kind of monitoring. Some batteries unfortunately have quite flat discharge curves so you're not going to get a nice uh, fuel gauge you just get a three state warning type thing uh, full, low, or critically low. Uh, and you can change the behavior of that battery icon there uh, in the, in the um, advanced config menu. And that setting is called battery icon. That was that fuel gauge we saw on the main screen. The default behavior is that the, uh, the icon only displays on the surface all the time. During a dive, it's only going to show warnings. So you can change that behavior by setting it to always. In that case, the fuel gauge is always going to appear. Uh, you might want that, or if you don't like that fuel gauge, you can change it to only show warnings, only when the, there's a low battery warning. Uh, it, that icon will appear. I'm going to change it back to default. Shows always on the surface during a dive, only going to show warnings. And you go back to the main screen. Uh, another nice feature is that uh, when there's a low battery, the screen is going to automatically dim down. The brightness of the screen is what uses most of the battery power. So in a low battery situation, it's going to auto dim the screen and you're going to get better battery life out of the petrol. I'm going to show you now how to change the battery on the petrol. You'll need a coin to do this, a quarter or a euro type coin. One euro works well. Um, and I'm going to loosen off the battery cap here. And we've redesigned the battery compartment from the Predator. It no longer uses a separate holder on wires. You take the cap off and the battery just slides out. And I had a rechargeable lithium ion in there. I'm going to replace it with a double A alkaline cheap common battery. Uh, before I put the cap on, inspect the O-ring. Make sure there's no hairs or dirt on the O-ring and on the interior surface of the battery compartment. This is sealing against water pressure. It's got to be clean unless you want to flood the system. Okay, I'm going to screw this back on. When screwing it on, you want to make sure it's, it's done up firmly. You don't have to over torque it. You won't likely damage, damage the threads, but it could be hard to remove the cap next time you change the battery if you do over torque it. Okay, so what it's telling me here is that I've changed the battery and the decompression inert gas tissue loadings have been restored. The reason it's able to do that is that there's a super capacitor which keeps the clock running when the battery is changed. It keeps the, bat the clock running for about an hour but I'm going to say worst case about 15 minutes you've got to change the battery. Uh, as long as you do it in 15 minutes it's going to load up the tissues. It's not saving the tissue that's hard. All the settings in the petrol are permanently stored. For restoring the decompression tissue status, you need to know how long the battery was out. And that's why you got to keep the clock running. Uh, another nice feature of that is that because the clock was running, you're not going to have to re-enter the time and date on every battery change. Okay, and if I had left the battery out too long and the clock had, uh, the supercapacitor died, we lost the clock, you're going to get a red X here. The message is going to say decompression tissue status cleared, plan repetitive dives accordingly. Default guidelines, you know, about 
you should wait one day before doing repetitive dives. Use your own discretion, especially for deep technical dives. I press confirm. Now I'm going to check the battery type. It's got to know what kind of type of battery to get the correct battery warnings. It's going to auto guess what type of battery you put in based on the current voltage. Current voltage is 1.3 volts. It's guessed that it's a 1.5 volt alkaline battery. Maybe you put in a nickel metal hydride battery that has about the same voltage. Well, you can edit that manually here. And I can change the battery type to a photolithium, 1.5 volt photolithium, or a nickel metal hydride battery. Those are the rechargeable batteries used in photo flashes. I, I can't set it to the 3.6 volt SAFT battery. No way it's a SAFT battery with a 1.3 volt terminal voltage. If I tried to save that, it's going to tell me the voltage is out of range. So I'm going to change this back to the alkaline battery, save that, and confirm. Now it's also asking me here to check the time and date. Because of the supercapacitor, I don't have to re-enter these. These are correct. If I had left the battery out for a, a long time, this is just a nice place. I don't have to go into the system menu. I can edit these values right here. And I'm going to leave them as they are, because they are correct and confirm. Now we're back to the main screen and I've covered changing the uh, battery, what types of batteries you can use, uh, the supercapacitor that re retains the clock and the decompression tissue status, and we've also got this uh, battery gauge feature. Uh, it's a little bit more complex than the Predator was, but because we, because we support all these different types, types of batteries, there's that complexity. Overall, we feel it's a, a net benefit that, that really using a, a 1.5 volt alkaline battery is a nice feature. Thank you.